What's up? It's Chris Heria. Welcome to another vlog. If you still can't yet muscle up, then this video is definitely for you. I'm going to be giving you the game plan and the formula to finally unlock your muscle up this year. And for those of you that can already muscle up, using what I'm going to teach you today is going to give you a stronger muscle up and even increase your repetitions. Now, first off, the muscle up is an intermediate level exercise, but in calisthenics, it's a fundamental exercise that leads to many more advanced and harder exercises like the muscle up 360, muscle up jump on the bar, muscle up jump over the bar, stuff like that. I've also made videos on how to do those exercises as well. You can check those out. But the muscle up is a complex strength and skill based exercise, unlike other exercises like the push-up or the pull-up, as the muscle-up requires interrelated muscle groups to work together with muscles of both your posterior and anterior muscle chain to engage with specific timing for every rep. Now, many people still can't muscle up after attempting it for years, even after they've developed the proper strength in their lats, biceps, chest, and triceps from doing tons of pull-ups and dips. And the reason is most likely due to not developing the specific muscular chains and movements required for the muscle-up. When you see a muscle-up, it appears to be a combination of a pull-up followed by a straight bar dip. And although these two exercises will help develop the strength required for your first muscle up, there's a lot of unseen components involved to achieving your first one, or even strengthening your muscle up to a level where you're not using any momentum, just pulling yourself straight up. So when it comes to breaking down the muscle up, there's four main components. That's gonna be your pulling strength, your pushing strength, your grip strength, and your core strength. If you have strong pulling strength, of course the beginning of the muscle up is gonna be easy. If you have strong pushing strength, of course the top of the muscle up is gonna be easy. And if you have a strong core and a strong grip, then that's gonna help everything else feel that much more effortless throughout the entire duration of the repetition. You're not gonna have to be stressing to hold on while you're doing the muscle up or even have to lose energy if you have a good grip. Having a strong core is gonna solidify your muscle chain and make sure that you're using the right movement path, making every movement feel solid from the bottom to top. So let's go ahead and start with the game plan on how you're gonna start training to achieve your first muscle up. Now your first goal should be building your strength up to be able to pass the requirements to start training for the muscle up. And the bare minimum requirements that you should be able to pass to be at least 20 pull-ups with perfect form, 20 straight bar dips with perfect form, a 20 second L sit hold with perfect form and 10 toes to bars. If you can complete that, you're ready to go. And if you can't yet pass those requirements, don't worry. I'm going to give you the workout routine today that's going to build your strength to be able to do way more than that and prep you to be able to do a muscle up in the shortest amount of time by using exercises that simulate the muscle up movement path, muscle groups and techniques used to execute a perfect muscle up. If you're training like that, you'll definitely be able to apply it when it's time to use it for your muscle up. So if you're ready to get started, all you're gonna need to do is make sure to download the Harry Pro app in the App Store or Google Play Store, open up to the YouTube workout section. You're gonna be able to find this routine and you're ready to get started. Now for this workout routine, I've divided each of the muscle up components into its own round. We're gonna be starting off with pulling and the first exercise is gonna be weighted pull-ups. I'm gonna be using a Harry weight vest. You can pick one up at chrisharia.com. If you don't have a weight vest, you can always use a weight belt with some weights or even grab a book bag, put some books in it, fill it up with weight. So the very first exercise we want to get into is going to be weighted pull-ups. So let's get right into our pull-ups. We're going to go for six reps. Weighted pull-ups significantly increases your pulling strength as well as the strength in your muscle up. Once you take off the added weight, you're going to be able to pull up a lot higher and it's going to be a lot easier because you're a lot stronger at pulling. All right, so there we have weighted pull-ups. Let's go ahead and take off the weight. The next exercise we're gonna get into is gonna be explosive pull-ups. So we're gonna be going for 10 repetitions. When you explode on your pull-up, you can either let go of the bar or just pull as hard as you can. Let's go for it. Explosive pull-ups are very effective and they work similar to the weighted pull-ups. You're gonna need this explosive strength to get to the top of the muscle up and doing explosive pull-ups frequently is gonna get you to pull higher, easier, increasing your explosive strength and make the average pull-up feel a lot easier as well. All right, so there we have explosive pull-ups. I did a combination of both, just pulling really hard and exploding off the bar as well. When it comes to the muscle up, you really only need to pull as high as your chest line. From here, you can just transfer over and your pulling will start to become a pushing. Now we're gonna be moving on to a different type of pulling angle. This angle you're definitely gonna need for the muscle up. That's gonna be Australian pull-ups. Now when we're doing Australian pull-ups, instead of pulling from the top, down, we're gonna be pulling from in front of us straight to our chest. And when you're doing Australian pull-ups, using a very similar position and trying to keep the bar as close to your chest as possible at the top of every repetition. And that's why this is super effective for building your muscle up. So let's go ahead and go for 15 repetitions. You wanna make sure that you're at your chest line, come down all the way to your chest, back down. When you come up to your chest, you wanna keep it really close and tight to your chest. That's really what's needed for the muscle up. All the way to your chest. All 
All right, there we have the Australian pull-ups. Now we're moving on to the last pulling exercise. Negative muscle-ups, 10 repetitions. You wanna start all the way at the top of a muscle-up. You're gonna come all the way down, nice and controlled, so your chest is to the bar, and you're gonna keep your chest tight to the bar. As you transition, you're gonna lean back, put your head back. The pushing will turn into a pulling, and you control all the way down. So that's the most important part of the negative muscle up. Once you get all the way down, you wanna hold tight, hold the bar close to your body, and transfer from a pushing to a pulling. Nice and controlled. 10 repetitions, so I did one. We got nine more to go. And like I always say, doing the negative movement of an exercise that you can't yet perform is always gonna eventually give you that exercise. And you're also getting used to the overload and building the strength for it before you can even do it. And by the time you develop the strength to control the negative movement, you're definitely gonna be able to do the concentric portion of the exercise. All right, last one. All right, there we have the negative muscle ups. And that's gonna be the last exercise for pulling. You wanna repeat this round at least three times, four times if you're more advanced. And once you finish pulling, we're ready to start round two, emphasizing on our pushing. The first exercise is gonna be weighted for the same reasons that we did weighted pull-ups. We're gonna be doing weighted straight bar dips. So you wanna come to a flat bar like this, and straight bar dips is the main pushing movement in a muscle up. So if you have a really strong straight bar dip, then that portion of the muscle up really is gonna be effortless. So we wanna put on the weight, and get really strong at our straight bar dips. Let's do at least 12. All right, so there we have some weighted straight bar dips. Let's go ahead and take off the weight. The next exercise we're gonna get into is gonna be explosive straight bar dips for the same reason we were doing explosive pull-ups. Now remember, when doing the explosive straight bar dips, you can either push off and let go or just push as hard as you can, still holding on. You should try both, mix it up. Let's go for 15 reps. If it's your first time, definitely don't open your hands. Just push as hard as you can. All right, there we have some explosive straight bar dips. Now we're ready for our last pushing exercise. That's gonna be jumping muscle ups. And I'm gonna need an elevated surface for assistance. So you wanna get something that you can stand on up to a pull-up bar and jump. So you wanna use your legs, use your arms at the same time. Lean over the bar, push, come back down. This is gonna get you used to going into a muscle-up position, get you over the fear of being over the bar, and of course, get you better and stronger at the transition of the muscle-up. You're gonna notice as you jump into your muscle-up, you're gonna turn from pulling, keep the bar close to your chest, turning to a pushing as you lean over the bar. Now, when you first start this, you may do it with a lot of jump, using a lot of legs, but eventually you're gonna get stronger. You're gonna be able to use less legs, more pulling strength. Core tight, legs straight, perfect form. Let's go for 10 reps. All right, there we have jumping muscle ups. Now before moving on, you wanna make sure to be able to do this round at least three times, four times if you're more advanced. And once you're done, you're ready to move on to round three, emphasizing on your core. The first exercise we're gonna use is gonna to be toaster to bar. Toaster to bar is gonna give you more than enough hanging core strength to be able to do a muscle up. In fact, mastering your toaster to bar will actually be able to give you way more repetitions in your muscle up. As I said, you need a lot of core strength to solidify the muscle up movement, but also when you're first starting to learn the muscle up, you are gonna use some movement in your legs as well as strengthen your core to get you above the bar. But of course, you're gonna start getting into that once you've built the strength and mastered this workout routine. 
protein. So let's get right into 10 toasted bars. Remember, you wanna keep your body as tight as possible, grip tight, feet tight together. You wanna to try to eliminate any swing. The harder you squeeze with your core and your grip, the less swing you're gonna have. All right, there we have toaster bar. Now we're ready to move on. Hanging L-sit hold. We're gonna try to hold it for 20 seconds as it is one of the requirements to be able to start learning the muscle up. Now, when you're first starting to learn the muscle up and you start using a bit of a kip, a bit of leg movement, you are gonna find yourself in a solid L-sit position as you're pulling up to get to the top of the muscle up. So having a solid hanging L-sit hold is gonna make this whole entire movement tremendously effortless and a whole lot easier. So let's go for a 20 second hold. Remember, tight grip, about shoulder width apart. Bring your feet up, point, squeeze. Three, two, one. All right, there we have a 20 second hanging L-sit hold. Now you wanna be able to do this round for at least three times, four times if you're advanced before moving on to the last and final round. We're gonna be emphasizing on strengthening our grip, which is the last component for the muscle up. The first exercise we're gonna use is gonna be scapular shrugs. Now scapular shrugs are super effective, not only for increasing your muscle up repetitions and strength, but also your pull up game. So that's why we're gonna be training these scapular shrugs. You wanna grab the bar, nice grip, body completely straight and tight in this relaxed depressed position with your shoulders you're going to go ahead and squeeze your shoulder blades back and try to bring your body up without pulling your arms squeeze your core you're going to come right back down to a completely dead hang position then you're going to squeeze your shoulder blades back shoulders back as high as you can come back down the scapula shrug is the first main gear to the pull-up. This is the first movement that you make when you initiate a pull-up. Strengthening your scapula shrugs is not only gonna increase your pull-up repetitions, but it's also gonna increase the efficiency in which you do them, making your pull-up game so much stronger, pulling harder, pulling higher, pulling more explosively, and increasing your repetitions. There we have the scapula shrugs, and this movement is a huge game changer if you haven't started doing so already. Now we're ready for the last and final exercise. That's gonna be just hanging on the bar. If you can significantly hang on the bar for time effortlessly, that's one less thing that you have to worry about when doing muscle ups. You're not gonna be stressing about your grip, and you're not gonna be struggling to hold on, which is one of the main difficulties when it comes to executing a muscle up. So just hanging on the bar is gonna tremendously increase the strength and performance in your muscle up, but also your pull up game and all other exercises that involve of grip strength. You're gonna see once you start training, hanging on the bar and you grab on, eventually you're never gonna let go. So when we're hanging on the bar, you wanna make sure to have a really good grip on the bar. It really helps if you have an over grip. Now squeeze as hard and as tight as you can like you're trying to get water out of the bar. We're gonna squeeze our core, have our feet tight, tight, tight together, point our toes, squeeze our hands. The whole body's gonna be tight. We're gonna relax here and breathe. Now eventually, once you continue to train this, you get more advanced, you can eventually do it with one arm. Train each arm individually. You can even train the scapula shrugs on each arm individually. And this is definitely gonna help your pulling strength. This is actually what I use also to perfect one arm pull-ups, stuff like that. So that's the last exercise. There you have it. That's the whole game plan and the formula with the workout to master the muscle up. If you can't yet do some of these exercises, for example, the pull-ups, you can always do one of the progressions, a jumping pull-up, jumping negative pull-up. And the same goes for all the other exercises. It won't be long until you build your strength up to be able to do every single movement. Now your first goal for the game plan would be to build your strength up using this workout until you can complete the requirements. Now once you develop the strength to complete the requirements, then you wanna to continue to do the requirements at least three times a week until you can do them with ease. Once you get to that point, you're ready to start attempting the muscle up for the very first time. Now to do so, you want to know exactly what to train. So I highly advise you watch my video, how to muscle up the best way. I take you through the steps, step by step, exactly what to do to execute the muscle up. But you don't want to start trying to do that until you develop the proper foundation and strength using this workout routine. You're going to see once you develop the proper foundation, you're going to be able to do a muscle up right after watching that video, how to muscle up the best way. So use this video to build your strength and foundation for the muscle up and use the video, how to muscle up the best way to learn the muscle up step by step and finally execute it. So thanks so much for watching and everyone else that has learned how to do a muscle up, 
off of watching any one of my videos, I want you to leave it down in the comment section below and let the viewers that are watching this for the first time know that this actually works. And if you try and train this workout routine and watch my previous video and learn how to muscle up, come back to the video, comment down below, let us know what your experience was like and what helped you out the most. And with that said, if you enjoyed the video, definitely smash that like button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you want the next video to be about, what you're working on, what you want to achieve next in this year, and share this video with a friend that's still trying to muscle up and that finally needs to unlock their muscle up this year. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe with notifications on. I post every single Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern Time, and if you comment within the first 30 minutes, you always have a chance to win some free Harry apparel. In fact, the winner for this episode is going to get a piece from the brand new Harry collection dropping in chrisharrier.com today. You can go ahead to chrisharrier.com right now and shop your favorite pieces before we're all sold out. A lot of the pieces in the collection you've seen from previous videos, like the white track pants, camo windbreakers, workout shorts, and even the pants that I'm wearing right now. Make sure to go to chrisharrier.com and get your favorite pieces before we're all sold out. And with that said, I'll see you next Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern Time. Mad love. Peace out.